UDK's crowd system allows you to populate your levels with swarms of agents that have a limited amount of behavior that they can exert to seem to fill your levels up with a larger population of characters. Now, crowds should generally be thought of more as a visual effect than something that you really expect your player to get down and play with. And that's because they have this kind of limited behavioral ability. They're not like the AI-driven bots that you may find in an Unreal Tournament deathmatch-style game. They're not going to chase you down and shoot at you with guns and whatnot. They're really, their key behavior is going to be to run through your level, going from one point to another, and giving the illusion that there's a lot more characters there than might otherwise be. Now, here's a quick demonstration. I'm just going to jump down into this level. And here come our crowds or our single crowd. I've actually got a few of them spawning out into the level. Now, the, each one of these is considered to be an agent, and they've been assigned some behavior, and they run through the level, and this is really all they do. And you can see they can pile up. We can get quite a few of them. Now, by default, these guys are pretty fragile, so if you feel the urge to shoot one of them, they immediately fall down. So you can have a little bit of fun here, but really this is the whole purpose of a crowd. Just to give your levels the illusion that you have a lot of characters moving around from one place to another. So if you had a level, for instance, where you know, like a robot invasion was starting to take place, it might make sense to be able to show this kind of thing. Now, also, you'll notice they will dodge the player by default. So I'm just kind of standing here in the hallway, and they will do their best to get out from uh, running me over. And some of them still do it anyway. Now, this is just generic flocking behavior. There's really nothing particularly special about the AI. And we're going to talk about how to set up a simple example. I will give you a word of warning, though. These videos are not intended to make you an absolute master of everything about the crowd system. Instead, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic crowd scenario, and then you can get in and start playing with the different behaviors and see all the different results that come out of some experimentation. So that's all I want to just do here is give you kind of a visual display of what these crowds look like. And now let's get started and look at how we can set this up. Thank you. 